Hey, Martin and Chelsea Matthews here. Today we're talking about the Netflix movie, I Care A Lot. Man, this is a crazy movie. Okay, so basically this lady gets appointed, court appointed as a guardian of all these wealthy older people. She basically gets them determined like that they can't take care of themselves and there's no one else to take care of them. And so she gets appointed in charge of their money, their health decisions, where they live. She's in cahoots with the doctors who basically write a note saying, yes, this person cannot take care of themselves and she gets control of all these people's money. So the question is, could this really happen? So the answer is yes. Some of these things can happen. The plot of the movie is crazy. We won't give too many spoilers in this, but some of these things can happen. First of all, let's start with what a guardian is. So whenever somebody cannot make their own decisions or a doctor says you can't make your own decisions anymore, the court can appoint somebody as the guardian over you. So a guardian means somebody in charge over you. And guardianship is a legal structure, a legal relationship where a judge says, hey, somebody's got to take care of your affairs, handle your, your decisions in life, all those kinds of things. And very important part to remember is when somebody's a guardian over you, they have the same rights over you as a parent does over a minor child. Very, very key, important to remember. So in this video, we're gonna talk about things you can do to make sure that never happens to you or your loved ones. Okay. okay, so how do you protect yourself from this happening? Basically, you need to have an estate plan in place. This is something we can help you to do if you don't already have it in place. There's four main documents that you need to have in place. A will, a power of attorney, a health directive, and a trust. And within that, you can also designate who you would want to be your guardian if you needed one. So those four key documents Chelsea's talking about, a will, a trust, power of attorney, healthcare directive, all of these help to set you up to make sure that the things you want to happen, happen to you or your children. So an example of this is one big mistake a lot of parents make is they make their minor children a beneficiary on their life insurance policy. So if you got a 12 year old and you pass away, your 12 year old can't open a bank account to go inherit a million dollars from your life insurance policy. So what's gonna happen is if you don't name who you want your children to go to, the court can get involved and name a guardian. And that guardian can have the same rights as a parent over that child, including potentially have access to some of your assets. So what if you don't want to have an ex-wife or an ex-husband or an ex-whoever have uh, access to your assets and you make your minor child the beneficiary thinking that would keep the ex from having access to it, that ex could become the guardian of that person and inadvertently have access to some of your stuff. So it's very, very important, especially when it comes to your retirement funds, your life insurance, all of these different things that you have these documents in place to make sure these kinds of things don't happen to you because they can and they do. The state can take control over some of your stuff if you're not there, you don't have your wishes in writing. So very important to put your things in writing and don't end up a ward of a guardian who you didn't appoint or have your kids uh, be in guardianship from somebody that you don't know or you never expect it to happen. So make sure you have these kinds of things in place to take care of yourself and take care of your assets and protect your family. To download a free guide to learn more about what a power of attorney is and how you can use it to protect yourself, go to martinandchelsea.com forward slash POA.